On January 4th, 2021, I decided to try something new and push myself outside of my comfort zone. On that day, I hopped on a one-way flight with my best friend to Nashville, Tennessee. Moving out at 18 was scary, especially not having college as a safety net. Going to Nashville, I had all of these plans where I would work, who my friend group would be, the videos I would like to make, and even down to joining a nice church and meeting a great guy. There's that saying that we plan and God laughs, and it really is a funny thing to think that we are actually in control. As time went on, my job opportunity fell through, my friend group grew apart, I slowed down on videos due to running out of inspiration, and I met a guy that ended in lots of tears. But the thing that did work out is finding a really great church. I attended when I could and watched online the days I couldn't be there in person. Through friendships fading, uncertainty with my career choice, nights of laughter and tears, facing heartbreak and being homesick, the only thing that was always there and never changed was God. I started to realize that maybe this move wasn't about my career, having a solid friend group, or even finding a really great guy. The more I started to let go and let God, the more peace I felt. The nights where I would cook while listening to a mix of worship music and Bob Marley, learning new recipes was so therapeutic and really made me begin to realize what's important in life. Although I was more at peace, I continued to hit brick wall after brick wall. I started doing freelance photography and videography to help pay the bills and try to make more friends, but I quickly learned that making friends is not as easy as it seems, especially when you don't drink or really enjoy partying in a college town. I also learned that it is actually possible to feel less lonely being by yourself than it is by surrounding yourself with the wrong people. One of the last nights in Nashville, I went to church with my three closest friends there. It was much needed and the message could not have been more spot on to my situation. I felt an overwhelming amount of peace in my decision to move home and we ended the night with the most beautiful conversations over chocolate chip cookies and the best salad ever from the greenery in Nashville. Shortly after lots of packing, my mom arrived in the U-Haul. Standing in my empty room for the last few minutes twisted my heart in a million different ways. The memories flooded in and I broke down like I haven't in a really long time. It's been almost four months now since being back home and not once have I looked back. It's been a gift to be back with my family, to listen to them share wisdom, and for my mom constantly affirming me that this was a redirection and a closed chapter that served its purpose. I share this because that small season in our lives sometimes serves a much greater purpose than what we planned for. It didn't look at all like what I had planned for. Instead, it taught me how to not be afraid of sharing God with people. It taught me to stand strong in my beliefs, even if it's the unpopular opinion or route to take. To never apologize for my morals, it taught me that not all friendships are supposed to last a lifetime, and it also taught me how to cook and grocery shop and how to drive in the snow. But most importantly, it taught me that God's plan is so much better than ours every single time. Since being home, I joined the Lost Creator Academy and have made amazing friends all over the world striving to do exactly what I want to do. It is one of the most beautiful communities I've ever experienced. I would choose this over any job I could have gotten in Nashville a thousand times over. I didn't know that then, but God did. The doors opening here are ones I couldn't have thought up in my wildest dreams. So I challenge you, next time you think you failed or question why things didn't go the way you wanted them to, remember that God's plan is always and will always be better than ours. Uh, <laughs>